afternoon and good evening for whatever time you're watching this video welcome back to my channel hey girl hey i am going to be just kind of recapping my 2022 um and hopefully this video will encourage you to do the same like a motivation for looking forward to 2023 right so i started off last year in the casino i went there with my cousin and her sister and i won a little bit of money and now i thoroughly enjoy the casino i did have a good little run there but i just kind of had to pull away before i spent too much money but i i enjoy it i think for some people probably not a lot of people like a very small population you know it could just be a nice little hobby it doesn't have to be something where you're throwing your whole life away you know it could be an addiction but it also could not be and um yeah I think I I think at this current time I'm not really worried about having any self-control issues because I've lost and I didn't really care for losing I don't know I, it's something about the casino I just enjoy it and I like it anyway so I started off my 2022 doing that and then I started my job later on in that month in January as a family finding specialist and that job has been interesting um, very chill very relaxed definitely very helpful for being in school because um, it was like not stressful at all um, you just kind of clock in you get what you got to get done for your cases find family members find relatives family friends that kind of thing and that's pretty much it didn't have to do any incident reports I didn't have to do anything major not a lot of responsibility essentially like my previous positions um I did buy a new car I um ended 2021 20, paying off a car and then somehow you know I just I know how I got into the situation but yeah now I have a new car I got up to date with all my health exams um that's definitely important i have these lovely glasses because of um my uh, health insurance i of course i already talked about my dog getting bit again I'm still working on that i pretty much figured out my no 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 i started to figure out my hair like i'm still learning exactly like i'm kind of starting from the beginning but with more information than i had at the beginning so I know that with uh, protective styles, I have to be pretty mindful about how heavy of the weight I am putting on my hair. Um, so I'm, you know, I haven't really done any protective styles like that. I've been wearing my hair out in many plaits, um, but it is tedious for that takedown process. So I'm trying to figure out like uh, in between, I'm starting to figure it out. Like I'm not there yet. Um, which is crazy and wild to think of for somebody who's been natural since 2014. But, you know, for the people that are natural and they haven't had that much of a cess, I'm pretty sure you probably get it. I started focusing on saving. I definitely have made that a priority towards maybe like the middle of 2022 um, and just making sure that... I, you know, work my budget around saving. So I did do, I did travel to some places. I went to Miami. I've been there before. I've been to Atlanta. I've been there before. But I've been to New York now as an adult. Hopefully I have that video out soon if it's not already out of my trip to New York, which was great. I'm glad I got to see, you know, all the touristy things. Mine is like Coney Island and some other places, but I did get to do that. I get to saw, get to see my aunt, met my boyfriend's side of the family, some, you know, some some people that I was able to meet. So it was a nice little trip towards the end there. It was a nice little way to celebrate graduation in addition to helping my grandparents get some things done on their bucket list. I did come to grips with losing one of my good best friends, meaning we're not friends anymore. She's not deceased. Uh, but we are no longer friends and at first initially when it happened I was like okay well I was like very hopeful I'm like all right maybe she just need a little time whatever whatever um but the times that I've reached out I haven't you know there's no 
desire for reconciliation on her end. So I just come to groups with it. And I have had a couple of times in my life where like significant relationships have stopped and it doesn't get easy for me at least I don't know about anybody else so it's just one of those things where it just I have to learn to accept to be sad in that same vein I did commit to seeing you know trying to see the friends that I do have making time because I do have people that live out in Orlando Ocala which is hour hour and a half away from here um so I wanted to make sure that I saw them because it had been a while since I saw them so um I do want to make sure to do that again in 2023 on another positive note I will say that um I think I finished up yeah I finished up a couple counseling sessions in the beginning of 2022 that was very helpful I think generally I feel better about my dad passing away in the sense that I am not as numb and I wouldn't even use that word it's more so I am not as um oh oh social work social worker I don't forgot the word but it's where you have a lack of feeling it was a little bit like gray like I didn't mind not just going through the motions like now I have a little bit of a spark and like desire to kind of do things sadness isn't going away sadness is always there but I feel better I did turn 30 though I am in the the three category you know I put the three and then the zero one thing that my dad always taught me is to be young be youthful be adventurous he was in the 60s going on a hot air balloon ride, to going on, you know, rides at the fair as well. So, or rides at the fair. To carry on his spirit, I have to be like, okay, well, I'm 30, but also I'm so young. And despite everybody else being like, oh, I still have to, you know, be adventurous. And I'm hoping that when I'm 60, I will still feel that same way because... I, I do have my little aches so yeah and then I also graduated which was a great accomplishment it still hasn't sunk in I think like once I start working as a therapist or at the master's level then I will actually feel feel like I graduated <laughs> so I wanted to reflect on my 2022 as I'm going into 2023 you know look at what I've done uh pretty well and things that I could do a little bit better and of course um as a motivation for you all like I said at the beginning to do it yourself so some of my hopes for 2023 is to have different streams of revenue I want to you know I sound like everybody else right mostly everybody else I want to I don't know I just don't want to necessarily rely on the job for income because anything is liable to happen um I feel like we all know that now and um it would just be nice to have different ways to be creative and maybe hopefully have that be lucrative or lucrative enough to add you know an extra couple hundred dollars you know I won't be mad at that um so like I said I want to spend time with family and friends I want to get started on my licensure uh the licensure process for social workers if you didn't know you have to do two years of full-time clinical position in order to get licensed um which is just a another level you don't have to do it but it's recommend not mm, you don't have to do it but a lot of people like to do it it does increase your income so why not you know i do want to save up for my cross country cross country trip <laughs> i I've been wanting to do this trip, so I'm going to make sure that I'm saving up for that. Um, like I already mentioned, I just want to be creative in different forms and different fashions and just see where that goes. Um, I do miss scrapbooking. I haven't done it for a while, but it, because it's so tedious, but I do want to just dabble back into it. I don't want to get back into it, but I want to dabble back into it just like one or two times and just kind of do that and 
leave it again and then maybe come back to it in 10 years or something like that um continue to focus on my health continue to learn i do want to try to learn spanish i feel like it would just be very helpful i think um <laughs> i think it just would be helpful to know i'm just gonna be honest it'd just be helpful to learn i do want to get back into volunteering it's been quite some time since i volunteered with a organization so i do want to get back into that i already have some um uh, companies in mind i really want to work with habitat for humanity that's been on my list for a while and so yeah also i well last but not least is i just want to focus on myself too like i want to find my signature look find what perfumes smell good on me what styles look good on me this is my call to action for you thank you for watching this video but of course you want to set your intentions just like i did in this video um after of course you look at your your year before 2022 or whatever year this might be because who knows you might be watching this in 2025 so the year before look at that like I said, reflect on your highs, your lows, what you did good, what you didn't do good, and then set your t intentions for this year. Um, whether that be in a vision board, whether that be in a planner. Um, if you haven't already seen, I have, you know, made my... <laughs> I talk like my mom. I've uh, set my plans for this year in my calendar view. So that's how I'm set my intentions. And if you need to set dates for yourself. So for instance, if uh, say for instance, you want to buy a car, if you put a deadline, okay, I want to buy a car by August. That's what I mean by setting your dates. And so that way you're like, okay, in February, how we're getting to it in March, do we have, how much do we need to have saved or, or I mean, how much have we have saved and how much further? Okay. Blah, blah, blah. So you want to break down the steps like that, um, to help you out as well as an example for one. Okay. I'll do clinically licensed. Okay. So I have this one for 2020 i mean i have it to set for myself to get it done by 33 so but i have to start now and part of that process would be ordering my um my records uh applying to be a registered intern um, finding an employer that will do my supervision or finding a supervisor so those are like three tasks that's not all of them that's required but let's just start off with that so that's breaking down the task and then what I will be doing is you know working on each task throughout my week my weeks um and if I had set a dead well I did set a deadline for myself so um you know this year will be focused on getting those initial things done and then the next year be just keeping up with the paperwork and till I am licensed and I do have to take the exam, so would need to work that in there as well. And uh, last but not least, to subscribe to this channel. I am here to help you plan and get your goals accomplished each week. I'm trying to put out a plan with me video so that you know you can get your week set out and have your tasks that you know what you need to do right now in the format and really just focus on ourselves on our goals on our dreams um because even though we're not children anymore we should still be dreaming we should still be even if it's small like i just i've been thinking about it lately and i'm like well you know what if i'm not meant to do anything great and that's fine it's just are you doing what you want to do with your life that's pretty much what it comes down to and if you're not this video, I mean, this channel can help you do that um, by planning, planning throughout the year and getting things done, um, making the time to have that accountability here with me and with you, like I'm accountable to you, you're accountable to me, and we're helping each other along the way. Okay, so subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.